Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Well, in case you missed the first impression in an unboxing video, this is a review, but I'll give you a little indication on that one. So I ended up bringing this home because I bought a new orange amp behind me, and the stand that I wanted is actually the same Yorkville stand my katana is on. And that's a really beefy stand. It's grrr. It'll hold any amp. Anyways, and I can adjust the height higher. It doesn't lean back too far. Sitting down, standing up, I can get out all my controls, no problem. And it's not gonna go way over top of the crowd. Okay, so, now of course it doesn't have a mic stand attachment on it like this does, okay? But I could mic it up if I wanted to, but I don't believe in micing up amps. That's a whole other video though. We'll talk about that in another one. Probably the next one, we'll see. Anyway, so they loaned me this one to try out to see if I could like this thing. In the meantime, they did order me a replacement for the Yorkville because the one that said it was in stock, they couldn't find it in the store. So it probably got sold and it didn't get minus off the system. Who knows what happened? So the new stand did come in yesterday, a little late in the day for me to get back into town. So I'll be going to town to grab it today and take this thing back. Now, I gave this a shot, guys. I honestly did. I can't do it. There's no way. All right. Number one. I don't need something with a mic stand adapter, okay, to put a boom on here. You just, just take off the boom off your mic stand, screw it on this thing, you mic up your amp. It's kind of convenient in that sense. It does have some pluses to it after all, okay? It is very compact compared to the Yorkville. Very compact, okay? I mean, this thing is like, seriously, it's all in the box. You fold out the legs, lock them with the little plastic switch dial on the plastic mount, and away you go. And this thing's supposed to hold up to 75 pounds. Well, you best be gentle with it, though, because, yeah, I don't trust plastic in here. Not with my equipment. I pay a lot of money for my amps, okay? I'm not going to trust them on, you know, putting them down hard or anything. And if something did happen, you know, I mean, this thing is probably not going to survive, all right? So... Now, there are some drawbacks to this thing, all right? At its most upright forward setting, because it's adjustable at the back leg for different angles, right? We we did notice that it's still pretty steep back. I still can't get at my controls very easily. Standing up, sitting down makes no difference. I mean, it is designed to be low profile, okay, so I get it sitting down on this chair would not be a good idea, obviously. But even standing up to get to the controls at its highest setting forward, is very impractical okay it is a pain in the butt so <laughs> definitely not cool in my bucks and with that being said if you understand anything about sound dispersal okay when you have an angle back like that you're going up to the ceiling really quick <clears throat> okay which means you're getting over top of your band which okay maybe a lot of people in the first couple rows are going to hear you more than everybody else obviously because you're the one pitching your sound that way but anybody further back ain't going to hear nothing out of you okay because you're too much of an angle and we tried to cock the angle forward by jacking up the back end leg okay with two inches worth of cds right but it made the amp very wobbly on the stand very bad thing even one inch wouldn't work out anyways but even at two inches it's still too far back okay this is not a very well thought out design this to me says gimmick okay it also says sucker uh, it also says yeah sucker again because we just took you for 58.99 the exact same price it costs for the yorkville and the yorkville doesn't pitch back near as bad in any way shape or form in fact my katana amp is an open back amp okay so you can't have a boatload of tilt back on an open back amp or you're gonna have a problem it's gonna go whew, unless you brace it at the back somehow um, which I don't need to. This is plenty stable, okay? No problem. It's at a good height. You know, it's going to get the job done. It's not going to go over the crowd into the atmosphere with its angle. This is at its lowest setting, by the way, too. So this amp does sit up quite good on this stand. Um, and it's all steel construction. There is no plastic on this other than the little rubber feeties that go onto the tubes on the bottom, you know, for anti-slip. That's it. You know, everything else is all metal on this thing, right? Okay, it's got a foam liner on top of the, the forks to keep your amp steady. But you get the deal, right? So this is practical. 
I can get at all my controls, I can see them very easily, stand up, sit down, makes no difference, okay? Even this, amp, this stand here, this amp 150, even standing up, you're gonna have a hard time, even at its most forward position, to get at your controls. This is a pain, okay? But it's not just that, okay? It has too much of an angle back to begin with, even at its most forward position. The other thing it's got going against it is the plastic housing for the legs, the plastic locking switch to lock the legs in place, because otherwise if you don't lock it, they just and everything falls over, okay? Um, so yeah, this is really, to me it's a gimmick, right? It, it's something that they're gonna make 60 bucks off of a lot of suckers, and that's just the way it goes. Now, I will give this thing a two out of five though. I still don't recommend it, okay? Um, to me, this is worth about 20 bucks. Literally, it's worth 20 bucks. It probably only costs the company about $3 to make it, all right? But they say it holds up to 75 pounds. It holds the katana, it will hold the orange, but it's not gonna take a lot of roughness to it, okay? Where the Yorkville will. It's gonna take the abuse even of a pro musician that's touring all around the countryside and all around the world. That Yorkville is going to take the punishment. This thing won't. This thing is not going to last you. It seriously won't. It is compact. It does save on space in the trunk. Great. But with too much of an angle, boom. You're going to be heard within the first couple rows after that. Nobody hears you. Okay. And that's not cool. <laughs> right. Um, so, and of course, like I said, Good luck getting at your controls. It's a pain, okay? Um, and um, yeah, there's just way too many negatives here. There's too many. The cheap build quality is very bad too. I mean, who decided that plastic was a good idea in this area? I mean, I don't know. You got metal legs, you got plastic, you got weight, you got, you know, it ain't gonna last, you know? Cause you're, you know, guys who are gonna wanna use something like this, you know, for their gigs all the time, back and forth, they're, they're, they're closing the legs, opening the legs, flicking the switch, flicking the switch, close the legs, put it back in the car, boom, 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 all the time, right? Very impractical, period, okay? So, I do not, under any circumstances, recommend you buy this. It is the same price as the Yorkville one behind me, $58.99 Canadian, okay? You're getting a hundred million times more for your money out of the Yorkville and it's great for anybody period whether you're an amateur or a professional the Yorkville is the winner every day okay this thing no way and the only thing this has over the Yorkville is the mic adapter where you can actually raise that bar up and put a boom on it and mic up your amp without having to have a whole mic assembly in front of your amp whoopee ding you know, I mean, musicians for since the dawn of time that have been miking up amplifiers on stage or studios, whatever, okay, they've been using these things and they don't seem to have a lot of issues. So, you know, I mean, this certainly does save an extra piece of gear, sorta, because you're only taking half your mic stand with you, okay? Wait a minute, you still need a mic stand for singing with. <laughs> but either way, you know what I mean, right? It's just not a practical thing. So I'm sorry, guys. I have to slam this thing right to the garbage. That's what it is, in my opinion. Now, I'm going today to Long McQuay to pick up my real stand because it came in yesterday. Um, a little late in the day for me to get back there, but at least it's in, and I'll be picking it up today and giving them back this one and letting them know that, yeah, this is not a good machine. This is just, I'm sorry, it's just bleh. You know, forget it. It's so impractical. It's just crazy. You know, so don't be fooled by the cool packaging. You know, oh, the crowds are cheering and ja Genesis series, the beginning of the end in this case. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, whatever. It is what it is. You guys can decide for yourself if you want to try one of these things out. Maybe it'll work for you. I don't know. Maybe, but. I, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can take your chances either way. I'd rather sink my money into a real stand, not one of these. Um, <coughs> now, that all being said, guys, I don't slam products too much, all right? I, I don't get too many products, period, 
um, that I've bought or whether it was sent to me. Th this was something that, you know, it was just loaned to me to try out because they figured I might actually like this thing better, you know, because it is something cool and different. And they know I like cool and different stuff, right? I'm an addict too, just like any other musician. And uh, I like cool stuff, but uh, at first glance, it was like, that's kind of neat. Take it out of the box, plastic on there. <sighs> I don't know. You know, we'll see. Um, but in so much further inspection of this and, and trying things out with it to try and even just get the leg up there a little bit more, it's still impractical. Even if you go up one inch at the back leg, jacking it up, which you should never have to do, okay? You bought the equipment to function properly, right? But even if you go one inch up, it is still going to make your amp a little wobbly, but it's still not getting you any further access to your controls properly. They're still way too far back because the amp is sitting way too far back. And this is a big problem, okay? So, you know, um, if anything that this thing is actually useful for would be anybody who is using a Actually, no, even that wouldn't work, come to think of it. I was going to say people who are using a stage monitor, but those are already wedges and they're already at a proper angle for your ear. So, yeah, there goes that idea. So, never mind. I stopped my thought right in the process because I just realized, no, that's kind of stupid. So, yeah, it's not going to work. So, yeah, no, nope, no, nope, sorry. Goodbyes. This has got to go. I am so sorry if you were disappointed with the results, but, hey, I'm happy with the results because... You know, it gave me a chance to try out a new piece of gear while I'm waiting for my one that I would want in the begin with, okay? Um, and we discovered that there's a lot of impracticalities to this thing. And there's some build quality issues too with this plastic garbage. You know, plastic does not belong on something like this. It really honestly doesn't, okay? Um, if you want something that's going to withstand the test of time and durability factor, and you think about it, 60 bucks. I mean, that's not a lot of money to some people to spend on an amp stand. But I, I spent the exact same money in that Yorkville behind me. And it'll take the abuse of any pro touring musician. No problem. It'll hold a lot more weight than this does at the exact same price. That does not pitch your amp back to the next planetary system. Okay? Which is great. And I can adjust the height even higher if I need it higher up on stage for any reason. You know, this thing sits very low profile on the floor, but like I said, at its most forward position, it's still way too back, and you are gone off into the next solar system. So, this is a big problem, okay? Anyway, that's all I got. So, take it as you will. You know how to deal with videos. You know, either this way or this way. It's up to you. Um, either way, helps. Um, do stay tuned for more. Um, we're going to be doing some more music videos um, over the coming months, uh, especially with winter coming now. Oh, oh. Um, we're definitely going to be staying indoors a lot, doing a lot of music stuff. Um, I don't know about you know any other music gear I'm going to be getting this year. I mean, I'm not so addicted anymore, and I'm kind of pretty much getting settled out on what I really want to use and have. Um, but we'll see what we can do anyways, but there will be a lot of music video videos uh, that I'm going to be um, Hopefully getting time to do over the winter uh, since I have a lot of time to chill this time um, until the spring and um, What else are we going to be doing? Oh, wow oh, lots of other stuff. But anyways, thanks so much for watching Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. See ya